Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, I want to give you an example of a hands-on noting and coding. So basically, allowing you to quickly um, randomize the material properties for objects. So as you can see, we have 16 sphere here. And as frame is changing, the roughness, the, the metalness, and the color is also slightly changing. Okay, and that's because of these nodes, but let's see how we actually do it from scratch. So I have not, I have here, I'm gonna delete everything and I'm gonna be using spreadshop file step s. So this is magic material, magic. It's more like a coding and noting things that sometimes I do it kind of like impromptu. Um, I don't think twice. Whenever I need something that can be done using nodes very quickly, I can do it this way. So I'm gonna be using box, and I'm gonna make like duplicates of the box using vector p. So let's make like 64 of them. Why not? And each one of them will have the same material at first. So material, just call it mat. So now if I we update it, each one of them already have material and it's already have uh, the same material. So we can delete this. It's done. File save. And the next thing we want to do is to give a different material for each one of them. So you can see the same material is being used by 64 objects we want to make it single user and you can actually click select and click one by one or you can use python so let's actually use python and with the python to make single user material there is an old thread at blender artist from 2011 this one actually is really good just simply copy this and then paste it here make sure you import the blender py python uh, the module and then you can run this so it's gonna go through each and every objects and make it make a material copy so it's practically uh, making this a single user run the script you can see now we have 64 materials each one of them is assigned to the to this box okay cool that's the second step. Let's go to the next one. We want to go to each one of them and then actually I'm just gonna be using this rendering mode and so I'm gonna be using view for display and play around with color, metallic and roughness. So color, we can give any color because each one of them is now already um, a, si a single material, right? They are all unique. And we can play around with the matter, uh, metalness and roughness. So that's cool. But what if you want to use um, Python script or easier, even easier if you want to use nodes. So I'll show you how we can do this. So I turn on info nodes and I make changes to the color, for example. Make changes a couple of times. You can see there's history, metalness, and roughness. So this is all the Python code that you can use to to modify the materials. Okay, with nodes um, in Spreadshop, especially object ID set is something that you can use. And object ID selector, if you select uh, the material. We can actually grab all the material this way. So if we use the stethoscope, so this scatter all the material, and we can now just plug this and simply use nodes to change, for example, the, the color. So this one is called diffuse color, right? Color in. 
we can plug this in and it doesn't work we need to turn on alpha so now the color is being controlled by these nodes so it's very simple what's really amazing about this object id selector and set is that you can control anything in blender it's actually really quite powerful so now if we want to randomize for example you can use random number make 64 random number between 0 and 1 and you can plug this into RGB red green blue and yeah if you like it grayscale you can have it like this randomize the seed you can see each one of the cube is getting different color you can select all the cube and then make subdivisions make it smooth so they're all nice and if you like you can use the HSV just randomize the hue give it like a kind of like a pastel color the value is set to 1 okay so that's basically with diffuse color you can also keep passing on these objects and now we can play with the metallic value and roughness value so again random number we need 64 of them float 0 to 1 plug this in you can see now the metallic is being adjusted and now the roughness is being adjusted we end up with this okay so very cool right because now if you want um, to do something further um, I'm gonna show you you can file export USDZ uh, USDA just save it selection only we don't have animation yet but it's okay it's gonna be for the next episode I'm saving it out as USDC and this one is actually an air already you just airdrop it into your iPhone or iPad it's gonna work oh you probably need to convert it into USDZ first but this is USDC um, and yeah look at the material it's all perfect if you want um, to be more efficient like sometimes you can actually have a single material but each object can have different vertex color and that's can be more efficient sometimes it's a, a single you can join all of them and then use uh, texture UV mapping um, to colorize the objects that's also even more efficient but if you if you don't mind having 64 materials for each one of the objects this is actually the way to do it each one of the objects actually can have a different texture as well so this is another Python codes to do that thanks to this user um, Atom is actually one of the member Atom is still around I think but it's very interesting how this can be really useful in year 2020 but anyway hopefully this is useful let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye